Ever since I started working as a freelancer and a YouTuber, I have only used one microphone for all my videos. Like all the YouTube videos that you've seen up until this very point, there's only been one microphone that I've used. And that is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And this is a great microphone. Like it has been working flawlessly for me for the last couple of years. And what I like the most about it is that it turns on and off with the cameras. So you don't have to think about like conserving any battery over a longer period of time or that you forgot to like shut off the mic or something like that. It just works. And that for me is great, but it is also a shotgun mic. So it does have some limitations when you get into like a corner or when you get into different kinds of rooms and stuff like that. But overall, great microphone. And the cool thing is that the guys over at Rode reached out to me and asked me if I needed anything for the studio or if I needed to upgrade my current microphone to a new one. So they sent over this care package. Ta -da! I have no idea what's in here, but I thought you and I should uh, have a look. The Rode Procaster. This is gonna be a perfect fit for the podcast that I'm recording together with Tom. And if you haven't listened to that yet, highly recommend you checking it out if you're enjoying like cameras and uh, this kind of stuff. I'm gonna drop a link down below if you're interested in that. Another video mic Pro Plus. 3.5 millimeter cables. You can't have enough of those because those always break if you use them a whole lot. A PSA1 studio arm. This is exactly what I'm using to have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on. Shock mount. Two VideoMic NTGs. Really eager to test them out and see the audio quality on those. The final thing is the oh, ho, ho. Rode Podcaster, Rodecaster Pro. I have no idea how this works, but this is gonna be super fun to try out and see what it can do for when we're recording a podcast. Thank you so much, Rode. Highly appreciate all the stuff that you sent over. It's gonna be super fun to rig everything up. When it comes to photography and videography, all the things when you're starting out is super expensive. Buying a microphone is gonna cost you around like two or 300 bucks. Buying a new lens is gonna cost you at least like five or 600 bucks, depending on if you're shooting on like APS-C or full frame, like there's super expensive options. And most likely the creators that you're watching, just like me, are using super expensive gear. But with that said, not all the gear that I have here in the office and in my kit is something that I have been using for a whole lot when it comes to shooting videos. And I thought we should talk a little bit about what kind of things that I think is essential for a content creator in 2020 to be able to produce really high quality videos. One of those things is of course a really good microphone. And as I said in the beginning, I've only been using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus for the like all my videos here on YouTube and client work and whatever it is, like this microphone has been my go-to microphone for all the shoots. And it has definitely made the money back that I paid for it. I think I paid like 259 bucks for it, but it's really good. Like this is something that I highly recommend to anyone starting out, buy some high quality audio because watching videos without high quality audio is not good at all. The second thing that I really cannot stress enough is having a good camera bag. And a good camera bag is gonna be like one of those things that you think you don't wanna spend your money on until you actually spent your money on it. And I remember when I got my first real camera bag, which was the low protactic uh, AW450, I think, like the, the Mark One, And that was like a, a game changer for me because as I started like pack all my stuff in it, I realized how convenient it was to have everything at the ready in that bag instead of having like this small little camera pouch hanging on the side and I'm like, where you're like, whoa, here we go, time to shoot. But now you could just like sling it around, open up, grab out the camera, and then you had your laptop, you had your iPad, you had your microphone and all the different lenses that you want to have packed into one and same bag. And it's also really good if you're traveling a lot because then you can bring it along with you on the plane without having to pack your expensive stuff in your 
like luggage. But now I'm actually using Low Pro uh, BP, hello, BP350 AW. And this is a much smaller bag compared to the one that I used before. And the reason for it is because I wanted to like pack all the things that I actually use into this bag instead of having everything that I might use with me in a bag. So I highly recommend this bag. It's sleek, it's smaller, and it definitely makes you think about what kind of gear that you want to pack down. The third thing that I'm really satisfied with purchasing as a content creator is a drone. And I bought my, let's see where it is. Okay, so whoa, here, my Mavic Pro 1 in 2017. And at first I actually thought it was only going to be used like as a fun thing and not something that I would use for client work or professional video, but it has actually paid itself off because I've used it when I've shot a lot of event films, I've used it when I shot client videos, and I've used it for this YouTube channel and a lot of like different types of stuff that I never could have imagined. And I think it gives your videos like a new depth of storytelling when you have a drone to be able to incorporate those kind of like epic drone shots, maybe like two or three seconds, but it's gonna elevate your videos a whole lot. And having a drone in your kit is also gonna be something that you can charge extra for when you're working with clients, because then you can say like, okay, yeah, so you wanna have a little bit of a drone shots, it's gonna cost you a little bit extra, so uh, I'm gonna charge a little bit more because you need the license, you need the different uh, things to be able to fly the drone so you can like add on, oi, you may, that stuff onto the invoice, which is super good. And the next thing is, a gimbal and when i'm saying a gimbal i mean a good sturdy reliable gimbal because even though you might not have it with you all the time it is something that will a make you look way more professional when you arrive to set with a gimbal b when you want to have some really smooth shots and when you don't want to shoot everything in slow-mo but still want to have like some really professional looking videos and if you're shooting with like an 85 millimeter lens or a 135 millimeter lens it's gonna be really hard to keep it steady when you're shooting handheld with that so mounting that onto a gimbal and being able to get those really compressed shots is something that looks really good. And I bought the Ronin S back in 2018, I think, and it has served me so well and has definitely paid itself off. I cannot stress enough how good it has been to have that in my arsenal as a filmmaker. And the last thing I think every filmmaker, videographer, photographer should have is a really good tripod. And one of the tripods that I've been using ever since I started this channel and my photography and videography career is the Manfrotto 190X. This is a video tripod that is a little bit on the heavy side, so it's not a traveling tripod or anything like that, but it does its job and it does it really well. It is tall so you can like shoot yourself if you're a tall guy like me i'm like 185 centimeters from uh, from the floor or from the ground up so it's not gonna be any issues of doing like talking headshots or anything like that and if you buy the kit with the video head you're also gonna be able to get some really smooth panning and tilting shots with the video head because it's actually dampened with hydraulic fluid so having a good tripod in your kit is definitely something that I highly recommend. And I'm definitely not saying that you should go out and buy all these things right now because you don't need all these things, but these are things that will make your video stand out, make your videos better, will make your overall quality a lot better and help you to improve your content and elevate that to the next level. So. If you're interested in any of the gear that I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna drop a link. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Drop a link down below, and uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and uh, I will see you in the next video. And oh, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated as well. And don't forget to hit the bell because I, I don't think I've ever mentioned that in any of my videos. Like, if you're enjoying my videos, hit the bell, and I will see you in the next video. Peter from Sweden, out.